You know, when I was younger, growing up, I have an older brother. He used to love to tell this story to me. We used to, but my mother worked Friday nights, uh, I mean, Thursday afternoon, Friday afternoon, and Saturday all day. My dad, was just, as I said earlier, was in the post office. And what, this time period, he happened to be at the post office early Saturday morning. Well, my mother had to do hot breakfasts every single day, no matter what. So she'd get up Saturday morning, wake me and my brother up, fix us our bacon and our eggs and our toast. My dad has already gone to work. We'd sit there and, you know, eat our toast and get downstairs so as we could, get on the TV. And we'd just wait for my mother to call downstairs and say, I'm leaving with the rules of don't. Let's go out, don't go outside. It's warm outside, don't be the yard. Don't be looking, don't be doing this, don't be doing that. Don't be messing, don't, don't be horse playing. Don't. The whole rules of don't. So we wait to hear that door close. And my brother come creeping back upstairs and just they got the back door, okay, the car's gone. They got the front window, okay, oh my zip. Go grab the bacon, right out of the refrigerator, grab that slip, throw it up there. Me and my brother, we just love. <sighs> and the crunch of it, it's just, it was just too much for us. We just love it. So we get that skillet up there, and we started heating it up and put that bacon in the oven. Then you hear it start to sizzle. You see it start to shrink up a little bit, and it just. Mm -hmm. It's just aware of too much. I am. And then I you are that over. We flipped now. that bacon yeah. over in the skillet. And then one day we got that turned over. Just turn it over. All of a sudden we heard, trip, trip. My brother was out the front door. Uh oh, it's dad. Oh, no! <laughs> All I could think of to do was grab that skillet off the stove. I ran downstairs, dropped that, and then dropped the dump, the bacon, the hot oil, everything into the toilet. Mm. Oh, that oh. one. That's the toilet. Ran back to the uh, TV room and put the skillet up underneath the uh, um, couch. Oh, oh. And sat there shaking. <laughs> oh, don't let him come downstairs, please. Don't let him come downstairs. Well, he was gone in a couple of minutes. But do you not think that me and my brother knew what authority was at that moment? <laughs> <laughs> when did we learn about authority? It goes all the way back to Genesis and the Bible. We learned authority back then. Okay. Authority, that's why it plays pretty much across every spectrum, every society. Authority does. So, and there are ways in authority that in these skills that are like, you know, they say the tall person has more authority than the short person. There are ways that you can actually leave a room and be perceived up to four inches taller than what you really were. Mm -hmm. You done with your speak. Just because of the way there's the tricks that you can use in there. I think it's a very powerful tool. It is not more powerful than uh, going deep.